Hello, everyone. So I was thinking to myself today, you know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't played Dwarf Fortress. So here we are. I don't think I've ever streamed this before, because that would destroy, have destroyed my processor a while ago. And... And so, it's time to create a brand new world. See what's going out there. If you've never played this before, get fucked. Uh, actually, I don't want to fuck those. Uh, I do want more beasts. I don't want more of that. Uh, uh, I'll keep that regular. I want a bigger world, and I want more history, but I don't want more civilizations or more sites. I do want more difficulty, basically. And here we go. So. So, Dwarf Fortress is one of the most complicated games I have ever fucking seen in my entire life. Of all games I've ever played, I've never seen a game nearly as complicated as this. It is a fucking mountain with a sheer cliff. As far as difficulty, as far as the, the difficulty curve goes, it's just a straight mile high cliff. And then it and then it gradually moves up from there. It's once you get once you get on that first peak, everything kinda eases out. But until you get there, oh, this is gonna be confusing as fucking hell. From the graphics, which I know what all this is. I can see mountains and high mountains and forests and grassland and I don't see any purple bits. I see some lava on the bottom left. And obviously the blue is, is ocean. And then we have the lines. The the light blue and the darker blue lines, which streams and rivers. Oh, actually there's two different dark shades. If, if you look at the middle of the top... Actually, can you see my cursor? I don't think you guys can see the cursor. But up in the... Up at the very north, top right-ish, there's two different shades. I know, this is all super thrilling, by the way. But we're waiting for everything to be created on the top left. Now, I didn't wasn't paying attention, but apparently it rejected two regions already. Because sometimes the world doesn't make sense, so it has to stop and recreate itself again. This is like procedural generation at its goddamn finest. It is amazing. I, I don't even know what to say to do it proper justice. God damn, it is hard to get into. And it's hard. To, I don't think there's a win condition. Pretty sure it's just survive as long as you can. And usually that's not. Oh. But once you get a well working machine, it, it feels good. And then you accidentally go into a cavern and then you get fucked. This game goes under. It's. Created by a pair of brothers. One is a storyteller, one is a mathematician. Hey, there's some purple. Don't want to go there, it's fucked up there. Okay, yeah. And now time is moving. So we'll let history actually take place. Civilizations will rise and fall. I still, I don't, I know I don't know everything because I haven't followed this game for quite a while. I've been, I have played it a little bit offline myself the past week, just so I could re-familiarize myself with it. But now we're going into it, and we'll see how far we get. I also wanted to see, I haven't played it on my, my computer, I've been playing it on a uh, laptop, so I'm curious how it'll run. <laughs> And I fully expect anyone who shows up is going to say, that's bullshit, and then they're going to leave. But for those of you that actually stick around, we're going to get into some interesting stuff, I'm sure. 
This is definitely not for everyone, but it should be. It's one of those things where if you just... If you can just get past that learning curve, if you can just see the Matrix, it's so good. You also have to, like, uh, you know, building type sims. So, there's that too. Maybe I shouldn't have gone very long on history, because this has actually taken a while. I could stop it at any time, but... Oh, if you look in the top, le top left, it says histor historical figures. Around 30,000. And then how many are dead? Around 10,000. And the amount of events ha that are happening. You can actually end up where everyone dies and civilization is basically dead. And you're just like one of the last remaining people. And you can try to survive in basically a dead world. That doesn't happen that often, but it can happen. And last time I checked, which was years ago, the longer you have history go for, the more likely that's actually going to happen. And we'll see if that actually happens here. I honestly don't know how long it's going to take. And I wonder if there's a way... Let me just... I don't think that's going to interrupt anything. If there was a way to give Dwarf Fortress more CPU and memory, I don't know if there's a way right now. But it will eat up your CPU, for sure. And a little bit of your memory. We might stop at year 200, just because it's, it's kind of taken a while. And in the long, in, in the short term, it's not really going to affect us. Oh, did it just... What just happened? Why did it... Why did everything zoom out? Oh, I think I accidentally zoomed. But of course it's so slow right now because of all the thinking it's doing. Yeah, okay. And now it's it's going to zoom in more than that. It's going to keep freaking out until it's until it's finished. I didn't realize you could zoom. It's really cool. I don't know exactly what events are, but there's been a lot of them. Over three, almost 300,000 of them. They're very elaborate, actually, the events. Essentially, the, the storyteller brother would want to have all this crazy stuff happen with like, assassinations and betrayal and love and all these things. And the programming brother, or the mathematician brother, I guess the same thing, would actually create what was necessary procedurally for that to happen, for those events to, to actually take place, along with many other things that could happen. And so it's basically just a gigantic, extremely complicated uh, storytelling machine with dwarves as your characters. There may be mods so you can be other cla uh, races, but... You're meant to just be a dwarf. Okay, we're gonna stop. What about... No. That'll take a second. Oh. It's gonna take a few more years, actually. Uh, let's see. So with that little X that's blinking and moving see it better. So this is our world. It looks like a pretty good world. I see nothing glaringly wrong with it. The purple isn't everywhere. Which is kind of like haunted demonic stuff. It's fairly expansive. 
Yeah, because this it doesn't scroll up or down, or it doesn't uh, loop on itself. So this is all new in land masses. And then of course, there's the ice on the top of the bottom, on the poles of the world. Yeah. All right. Let's let's stick with this. Use world. And this place is the universe of forever. That's a good name. So we've created a world for ourselves. Now we have two choices. We could either do fortress mode or we could do adventure mode. Adventure mode is where you start as a single entity and you have all the same skills as normal dwarves, but now it's single player mode, turn by turn. And you go and you do things. You have to survive in the wilderness. You have to eat, you have to sleep, keep warm. Basically a survival game. Uh, and then you all can go on adventures and gather people with you and quests and fight monsters. And I remember a bug where you could basically break all the limbs off of off of a zombie and then wrestle with the corpse to, to cheese and get tons of uh, wrestling experience. But regardless, we're doing fortress mode. And the passing time. Oh, yep, it's passing time. I guess it's passing time until this. So we're going to be in the spring months. Okay, can I zoom in? No, not here. So, this screen is a little confusing. If you look on the right, that's the whole world. Zoomed out. On the middle, get more of a, a, a closer view. Still not really close, though. And then on the, t on the far left, you have that tiny little bit. That's what we're actually going to use to identify a good area. So, I would like to start off with something kind of simple. And we can always go harder if we need to. So I'm going to try and follow, I would like a mountain and a river. I want the two to be next to each other, like this. This is pretty perfect. So there are, if you look on the far, far right, it's called the Reputed Tooth. So we have shallow clay, we have deep soil, which is good. We have an aquifer, which is not great, but we have shallow metal and deep metal. That's because we selected the entire thing. Most computers... Uh, let me see if I can narrow this down. Most computers shouldn't... Like this. This is... A, and I'm... The controls are weird. I have to use... Uh, U, M, K, and H to move around. Uh, most computers should only do this. We're going to go crazy because Hero told me to at one point. We're going to do this. We're going to do the entire region, which is way too big. And is like just... The game's probably even going to yell at us. So if we try to embark, select the largest possible area. If you experience lags, choose a smaller area. Uh, Acrofire... The entire thing is on an aquifer, so I'm not concerned because there's obviously a mountain right there. So let's embark. And we're going to prepare carefully for this journey. So carefully means we actually get to assign skill points and choose our starting gear. The starting gear is fortunately mostly picked out for us. But I'm going to just slam some skills here and there. Yeah, let's just make a couple miners. And then we'll get a woodcutter. A carpenter. I guess he won't be doing... Miners will be mining pretty much cons constantly throughout the first uh, year or so. So there's no point in giving them any other jobs. The woodcutter is going to chop a few trees down and then do something else. Uh, let's see. The peasant. I would like someone who knows what the fuck they're doing. 
appraiser. I want someone to be able to appraise and know how to keep records. So he's the broker. So he'll have a bit of that. If you look at the very bottom of the screen, you'll see PTS or points. And we only have so many. Every number takes that many. So it, if I wanted to get from mechanic to novice mechanic, I'd have to spend five points. Let's see. What else do I need? I would like a fisherman. And... Hmm. What else do I need? The beginning, don't need a lot in the beginning because you're going to get migrants or immigrants pretty soon. Uh, I could use an archer. Nah, wait. Crossbowman. Just a general fighter type in case something, something goes down. I guess I could make him a hunter. Where is the Ambusher, trapper. Yeah, we'll have that guy be the ranger. And then... Someone to cook food. And we'll make him a farmer, too, if I can find... Now, everything can be learned by anyone, so even if they have no points in it, they can learn how to do it just by trying. They'll just kind of suck for a while. Ah, oh, come on. Is it grower? Is that the thing I'm looking for? Grower. Perfect. Okay, we have a bunch of points left. Did I choose two? Yes, I chose two miners. Items. We have two picks. We don't need two axes, but I'll keep two anyway in case one gets stolen, because that tends to happen. Uh, I want some dogs. I want two male and two female, so we'll have lots of puppies. I also want the same for cats, because cats are great at dealing with vermin. I would like a crossbow. Is there a crossbow here? No. So, new crossbow. I'll get two crossbows and then new bolts. It's the cheapest bolt. Copper. Copper it is. Just use the rest of the points on that. Okay. All right, and let's save this because I will modify it later. Uh, first, oh god, save. Oh, there we go. I'm practicing. Sorry, the controls are not the best. It's a little confusing at times. So we're good. Let's do it. And let's hopefully zoom in, because otherwise I'm going to have eye strain doing this. And it's, of course, not responding, because why would it? So although we chose the general region where to embark, we actually don't know where in that place we're embarking. We're going to want to move toward the mountain, though. Somewhere near the mountain. A, a nice place either in the mountain by the stream or in the ground by the stream. River. Stream slash river. I forget what it is. Might be river. And then the fun part, once it loads, is getting to see what it all actually looks like. And I think it's generating the terrain right now. And we chose a way, way big area. 
So I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Normally it takes like a moment. This is taking longer than a moment. <sighs> All right. Just going to just going to go on Reddit. Don't want to touch anything. Don't want to upset what's going on here. Wow, all right. This is just, uh, it's just going to keep going. I, I may have made a huge mistake making it this big. This may have been be a huge. Huge fucking mistake. My computer's just gonna explode attempting to do this. I mean, it's already using 3 gigs of RAM. Hmm. Is it just gonna. It's just gonna keep, keep being this way? Is it never actually going to load? I guess we'll find out. It's it's actually still not moving. Come on. Oh, we're up to almost four gigs. I think it's just going to continue to... <laughs> hmm. It's like we're having trouble with the stream. But maybe it's because the game is choking itself out. Oh, alright. Here we go. We're good. Okay, so your travels ended. Strike the Earth. We forgot to name ourselves. We are the Rough Martyrs. That's who we are. Okay, can we zoom in? Okay, that's that's a little easier to see. Okay, wow, we actually started off pretty much exactly where I wanted to be. Wow. Uh, yes, this music is part of the game. Which, if it's too loud, I can turn it down. 
thought I turned it down already. Well, let's bring it a little lower. Okay, so... Where to start? The game's complicated. Hit D to do actions, like chop down trees. Hit T, hit enter, select an area, boom. All these circles are actually trees. I need to set a zone for fishing. That's... actually, one second, I just want to see how far does this go on the left. Okay, that goes pretty far. So we're going to make this mountain our home. We're going to strike into the earth, that mountain, our place. It's going to be great. Which way is the river running? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's so slow. Talk to me, task manager. What's going on here? This is how slow it's supposed to be running? Okay. I... Th <sighs> hmm. Alright. To avoid, uh... It, it was it was never gonna happen. We're gonna make a much smaller area. That way it'll continue to run quickly for a long time. And that's okay, Nexa. You'll figure it out. But yeah, we ch I chose something that is just you'd need a supercomputer to run properly. It's just so it's so intensive. Or there I don't know how to unlock let me see. Maybe that's a way to unlock. And just, sorry, give me a second, guys. Oh, the game's single thread. Oh, okay, so I'd have to have a really powerful single thread computer. Or, sorry, <clears throat> cores that are really powerful. So, it's, it is what it's going to be. Yeah, so Jewel actually has a really good explanation for this. It's a it's a fortress simulator. You have to build up a fortress, survive uh, the monsters and creatures of the world, trade with other nations, uh, fight off other nations. You can actually do war, which I believe that came in over the past couple of years. That actually is a thing now. So let's just create a smaller area. Yeah, really powerful single core. And, I mean, I, I have the best I can get, but I'm not a billionaire, so. <laughs> so we lost the entire first month, because you can't just create a game and then back out and back, come back in and pick up where the old fortress left off. Weeks will go by. Yeah, Sims 13.0. Yeah, this is what the Sims wished it could be. Although I do like the Sims speak. So I forget where we were. We could actually go back and see remnants of our... If we had actually carved into the into the earth, we'd be able to see remnants of our fortress. So let's find something a little... Oh, let's find something similar, to be honest. Uh, okay. This seems like a deep soil aquifer. Mm. I would like some shallow metals, so we can actually, uh, what do we got over here? Deep 
I don't know what flux stone means, actually. I really want to be next to a mountain. And a river. That's the hard part. Getting everything you want in one, one area. Crap. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right, Zajul. Certain things you can cross and certain things you can't. Let's see, let's just go somewhere else. What's going on over here? Very deep soil. So, hmm. I always have the hardest time finding a spot to set down. I get some shallow clay, please. Shallow, oh, I'm sorry, shallow, shallow metal. That's the word I'm looking for. But there's no trees here. Crap. I think this is a volcano, to be honest. Uh, okay, even if we can't get deep metals, or shallow metals, we'll We'll dig for him. Yeah, this looks pretty good. This clay deep soil. I don't know what flux is, but we'll find out. Let's use first embark. Uh, what's not complete? We have 60 points left. Why do we have 60 points left? That's odd. How did we get another 60 points? We we had completely cashed out. But first, let's name ourselves. The Everlasting Lantern, the Trumpet... Liberty, the Crypts of Pol Polish, the Vigorous Boots. Can you, uh. Oh, you can't save them, so. What have we got here? The Mint of <laughs> Ah, what's a nice one? The circumstantial cloisters. <laughs> Fuck it, let's do it. It's good. It'll work. And I don't know. Let's add a few more of these. Just to make sure we have enough of that stuff. Work. Yeah, if Python was easier than this, then yeah, we'd all be masters of Python at this point. Okay, that was way faster. Alright, where the hell are we? Okay, we got the stream or the brook. Is it a brook or a stream? It's a brook. Fine. Brook's over there, so we... The edge of the map is to the right. What is going on over here, though? What is this? Amethyst, and... Oh, it's sand. That's pretty good. Oh, there's a lot of sand over here. Huh. Uh, that's how far it goes down. And it goes very far to the left, which is what we want. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of zooming up and around, just seeing what we got. And where are we? One second. So we're kind of far up there. I don't know why they thought this was a good spot to stop. They're kind of crazy. 
were there ducks? Did I miss something? There's eagles, and ravens. I don't see any ducks. Oh god, it wasn't paused. <laughs> okay, so let's let's go right about here. Yeah, we'll, we'll go right. So let's dig in. Just dig right in there. <sighs> then we have to mark up a spot for fishing and water source so people don't drown. Gather some fruit. Which way is it flowing? It's flowing up. Oh. I will do this entire pond as a dumping ground because fuck it. I need to cut down some trees. Oops, whoops, what am I doing? Hopefully. These are rather big trees, and I hope it doesn't actually crash down on anybody. So that guy, oh, look at him go. So, Nexa. These little faces. These are these are dwarves. Their colors indicate what type of character they are, what type of knowledge they have. The green guy's a hunter. He's hunting something. He might be hunting a weasel. I don't know. That little C is a cat, which is a legendary climber, meaning they have the best skill at something, which is climbing because it's a fucking cat. Oh, why not take some ducks? Oh, I didn't think about taking ducks. I didn't know that was a poss uh, possibility. And let's just remove some ramps around the... Just around the initial bit. When they're ready. White dwarves are miners, typically. Or masons. So we want to get everything inside as quickly as we can. Yeah. Ducks, you know what? Ducks are great for that in real life, too. At some point, I would like to own some ducks. They make uh, great egg-laying animals. And they're much cuter than chickens. Much cuter. Oh, what's this? Amethyst. Well, I guess we'll just have to dig out that way. Because clearly Amethyst is what we need to be worrying about right now. So I'll have... I like to have a barracks and things like that up here. Oh, I kind of wish I could... Eh. I'm just going to outline some things ahead of time. Just so I have... Just so I'm ready for what I'm going to do. And then we're going to go down, because there's no point going up. Two by two. Hmm. Three by... Th I don't want them to get crowded. Let's do three by three. Or, I'm sorry, two by three. I'm good at this, I swear. Does that match? Yes. Curious, can I? Whoop. Oh god. I can do it that way. That's really neat. I didn't realize I could draw, or I didn't realize I could paint between levels. So if I start here, go like this, and go down like three, four levels. Okay. Let's make some little rooms. Space. Oops. 
I don't know. I don't know what we could possibly do to make this easier. Like drawing out these rooms. I really don't know. And a lot of this beginning phase is just like, you know, design your base a little bit. Get stuff ready. Or, you know, prime time kind of thing. And just just this a little. Want to make sure that's done later. Okay. Oh, can you macro rooms? Really? I didn't know that. I hope this isn't going to be partially dirt, partially sand, and partially stone. That'd be kind of awkward. What I do want to do is start, uh, start creating some stockpiles. That way we get everything out of the wagon. Let's look around while uh, while we're doing this. There's a lot of surface gems we can grab. There's also a ton of trees, especially if we go up. Yeah, these these are big, thick trees, so we get a lot of wood in this area. Some spare ponds. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's willow twigs and leaves. So that's what the white is. I thought it might have been snow or something. I like really big uh, hallways for moving things around. I don't know what people normally do, but I, I don't like single file hallways because people seem to get stuck a lot. So I like to make them really big early and plan that way. Which I might as well just do this now as well. Is that how I did it? Did one, two, and then three. It's symmetrical now, but just wait. Something will happen. Like, I'll find a bunch of gems in a wall, and suddenly, oh shit. Gotta break down the whole thing. Okay. Inappropriate dig. What do you mean? Oh, people are confused. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, please fish. We need food. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's, uh... Let's get this section right here. Just underway. You lost your fortress to a zombie siege. Ooh. Oh, it's good that the la mayor was the last. I'm not going to have the same layout over many floors. That's for sure. This is just the starting areas, and I'll probably just branch out. And I'm going to have, uh, like, the mess hall and the sleeping quarters and all that on the lower next level lower and then probably a crypt under that and I'll I'll spread out uh, horizontally whatever I need to okay we don't need the stone 
Not right now, anyway. Okay, let's put the food down. Food's important. A hundred rooms. Ooh, yeah. But you don't need to. You don't need rooms for every single dwarf, though, right? Because I've used dormitories and everyone seems happy. Like I give, I give rooms to only the important people, and then everyone else just gets to do whatever the hell they want to do. Let's change the priority over here as well. Why not? Let's just let's just do the whole stretch. What am I even doing anything else for? Nice. I thought so. That cat's just being a cat. And everyone, everyone's taking... Maybe I shouldn't be dumping those things right now, but... I don't know how else to do it, because if you make a stockpile on top of rocks, the rocks will be incorporated into the stockpile. That's kind of dumb. But I guess maybe that's the way of, I need to destroy this stockpile and recreate it in a way, but I don't want dwarves to put thing, take, pick things up and put things down in the exact same spot a thousand times. So that's just, well, I think, I think something's blooming. Uh, cotton grass. There's suddenly cotton grass fucking everywhere. Holy shit. Yeah, I guess nature's happening right now, everybody. <laughs> That's a good point, Jewel. Spouses don't need separate beds. Oh, you can kind of see where the biome separates. Yeah, look at all this grass. Oh, shit. I forgot to gather plants. Let's do that right up front. There's no plants to gather, seriously? What about over here? There's some plants. Also, uh, don't want those to be priority two, because that'd be kind of harsh. Uh, sorry, Frosty. You, yeah. This game can be rather intensive. It's so good. When you're in the mood to play it, it's so good when, when you get the chance to play it. Uh, so we're gonna make kind of a grab bag area for the moment. I'm gonna make this pretty much everything. So, finished goods. Gen uh, not gems. We don't need those right now. Bars and blocks, ammo, leather cloth, weapons, armor, sheet, coins. No, 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 no. What is animal, by the way? Oh, just, I don't know what that means. And then we'll put in wood over here. God, it's so slow in the beginning when you don't have people, you don't have the hands you need to move everything. And there's no way I'm letting these guys do anything on the dig. Actually, let me make sure they can't do anything on the dig. You guys will be... That's your job, guys. Dig. Be good at digging. Be the best at digging. Become legendary miners, please. Don't die somehow before you get to that point. Just, just make it. Survive. We can survive the first winter, and now we'll be doing okay. Speaking of the first winter... Let's see... The river is here. Oh, I can see it. Tch, dumb. It 
this will <clears throat> this will be done in a little bit. So this is how I do it. Oh god, that's not what I want. Yeah, that's how I screw up. Let's make a big old block. Ah, uh, let's start with uh, <clears throat> Mason's workshop over here. Ah, uh, over here. Gonna have furniture, I think, at the bottom. We'll have food up top. Fisheries probably more important than that. Uh, where is Carpenter? Carpenter, I'll add it. They're thirsty. You can tell by the little symbols. If we go to their wound status, wound. So the aren't the the brown one means hunger, the blue one means thirst. So they're eating and drinking right now. Yeah, it's interesting. I haven't firsthand found any anything with it. Oh, that's a splint. Right, because I need a hospital. And unfortunately, everyone is passing out at like the same exact time, so just progress is going to stop in a minute. Yep, everyone's just asleep. Yep. Except for the hunter and the trader. What is the trader doing, anyway? What are, what are his jobs? You could be a farmer, actually. Uh, wait, don't we already have a farmer? Is that what you do? You do farm. Okay. Screw it. He'll just he'll be himself for a little while. I can't make him be a bookkeeper or a broker yet. I don't know if it's smart having the same guy be those two different jobs. Oh wait, no. The broker should be the bookkeeper. Because the bookkeeper is almost always going to be like doing something. The broker needs to be on point when the trader shows up. Okay, so this was... Of everything, and this was wood. Do I want this whole upper area to be food? I can't remember. What, what choices do I have? I have... Finished goods. True. The whole top part, part is probably going to just become food, to be honest. It's not busy all the time. Oh, okay. Okay, what does this thing have? Oh, I don't have a meeting area yet. Let's fix that. Uh, hmm. Let's have this be a little meeting area. A uh, little meeting area. Just for the moment. I'll expand that into something else later. Also, they're getting faster. They're becoming talented miners. I just need a spot for everyone to chill. Mm. Meeting. Also, let's have... This be a... Master. N. 
We don't want these things to die on us. Oh, that's what the broker can do also do for the moment. Oh, wait, no. Where's the ranger? Hunter. Animal care and training. That's what you get to do as well. Okay, let's remove this building and see what's left. And then everyone will have to take everything out of it. Just shove it in the little hole in the ground we created. So let's see. Uh, Carpenter's workshop down here. Let's put it right here. Metal Smith. I'll probably end up changing where these things go. I just want to kind of put them down for now. That way when people show up, they'll actually do something. But that looks like a praise it sign because I play too much Dark Souls. Animal care is bugged, do you say? Well, they're here, so that's enough for me. Where was there? This needs carpentry. It'll, it'll figure itself out. Something better. Oh, I see it. Yep, okay. Yep, sorry, it took me a second. I, I want to do so many things, but I have to wait for them to stop digging. They just, they need to finish. So let's go with uh, gems. Let's make this stone not economic. Not blah, blah, blah. My cat is attacking me. So we have gems and metal stuff in bars and blocks. Which means this one is to stop being bars and blocks. It wasn't gem, so it's never stone. Okay. Hey, buddy. Okay, so that got to take a little bit. So let's just take a look outside for a second. What do we have over here? Sorry. Oh, someone probably knows this. What does Mika do? I was alerted on my little game earlier this week that, oh, I found Mika, but it doesn't look like it's used right. So I was just really confused in general. I like how the dogs know. The dogs know. Those little Ds are dogs. They know where the meeting area is. No one else is there. No human or, I'm sorry, no dwarf is there to say, hey, this is where we should be right now. They just know where to go. They're just chilling and having a good time in their little darkened cave. They're happy puppies. Oh, I see, Nasser. I see. Oh, and Mika is stone you can build for items, or use for building items. Okay. Well, then I'll have to look out for it. Oh, okay. It's just like, hey, in case you wanted to know. This is actually all very plain. Well, I guess it's all obsidian. I like it, to be honest. I like the look of obsidian. It's easy to tell where the ground is. God, I used I used engraving. Like, smooth smoothing the stone? I think that looks good. If you engrave, I can't see anything anymore. It's just... 
it's just faces everywhere. It's just so hard to see. So hard to differentiate anything after you've engraved. I'm going to skip the top area because we don't actually have that much food right now anyway. And we're going to just make it nice and thin so it's quicker. And then we'll do this. Oh, interesting. I'll have to check that out. I was using the for uh, the Fortress Wiki for a lot of information, like, why aren't my archers using the archery field? Because there are so many reasons is the reason why. Oh, we can build a few more shops now. Uh, let's see, what don't we have? We don't have a boyer shop. We'll wait on that. Butcher shop. Let's keep all the food stuff together if we can. Tannery. Seems more like a, a crafting type of thing. Farmer's work uh, kitchen. Kitchen. Ah, uh, did I miss something? Where's the craft work? Oh, there it is. Definitely need one of those. You know, mechanics workshop, sure. Okay. Okay. Oh, we struck, we struck brimstone. And brimstone is bright yellow. <laughs> Fantastic. Are you talking about are you talking about an ant's life or that other movie with a really similar a bug's a bug's life or ant movie or something like that? Oh wow, no, I've never I've never done that, Jewel. I've never gone full dwarf before. He can't help with that, right? Oh, he's going to dig over here instead. Let's, uh... Let's create a little hospital. Oh. They get really confused when they're trying to do this shit. He's already an expert. That's nuts. Okay, did we leave anything behind? Yes, we did. It's a bunch of seeds. Oh, there's, there's fucking food there. What are we doing? Where's our car? Wait. Carpenter, I put right here. Ah. Uh, Odd. Why isn't he... It's gonna give him architecture. And now that I know he's aware, I'm actually gonna cancel these jobs. So then hopefully... Okay, let's uh, just turn off his hauling for a second. You can do it. You have carpentry, right? Yeah. Get up there and... Oh, he's still stuck on that. He'll hopefully do that in a second.
Well, you don't have to use the river more than once, right? Like, I'm just gonna flood the area, and then I'm gonna put up a floodgate, and, you know, dig through it, and then run away, wait a mo minute or two, then close it, let all the, all the mud and water settle, and let it, let it be. That should be good enough, right? I don't, I don't think I ever need to re-irrigate, because this game doesn't quite get that. For for a game as complex as this, it, the farming is surprisingly simple. There's still some depth to it, like you can planting the right seeds in the right seasons. But other than that, it's not really. Oh, there's actually only a little bit here. Nice. Can you do anything with brimstone? Doesn't show anything in particular. You can't melt it. Oh, is this... this is where it used to be? So there's a bunch of food up here that hasn't been moved yet. Let's just put all it back. If he does, I hope he makes it simple enough to irrigate again without just flooding it over. Like, I hope there's a more elegant solution than what is what. Like, what we do now is not uh, elegant by any means. Come on. It's gonna go like this. Dump everything. Do we have a mason's workshop? I think we do. That no one has used yet. I thought I had someone mason. Oh no, I set both of them to not. Okay, I'll have this guy do a little bit of mason. It is dwarfy to do things the hard and ridiculous way, I agree. Okay, we're gonna have to expand that, I think. So, food would be at the top left. Kind of expanding. Oh, oh! Thank God, migrants. Okay, fishing dwarf. Great, fine. Who is that? Llama. Great, llama. We have a great mason, which means we no longer need you. To do stone working. Okay. And they're on the left there in case not people having trouble seeing. Are you serious? I only got two people. Did I seriously only get two people? I got a fisher and a God God damn it. Well, it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I only got I only got two people and a llama, llama. I don't know. Why I keep saying llama. I feel like an idiot. So let's put the, the llama there. Wow, only two people. Yeah, I I know, but oh, apparently I'm really slow. Let's make a bunch of doors. Let's make a floodgate. Let's make some tables and chairs. Get to it. 
What's he doing here? Oh, he's a craft orc as well. How talented are you? Hmm, it's odd. Fine, but that's fine. Trying to think of how I want the cloth and leather to go. I guess I could just make a separate little area. Nope. Yeah, a stark, stark brimstone. Great. Mm. Well, either way. This is, this is all gotta go. Well, actually... I was toying around with this. I kinda liked the way this worked last time. I'm actually gonna make this stone-based. Get rid of metal. Sandstone. Clay. Just keep regular stone here. I actually don't know what brimstone counts as. And then people will move the stone from other places here, and that way the mason won't have to walk that far to get to it. It seemed to work out for me last time. And also, I don't have to dump everything. People will actually just move it. Ha! Huh. He created a masterpiece Obsidian Throne. That was surprisingly quick. Oh, did they dig all the way down? It did. Okay, let's just change the way this looks. Oh, yeah. Revivals are pretty good. Yeah, let's... I don't like them for anything else. They seem to get... It seems like people won't do it if... unless there's a wheelbarrow. Barrow. If you assign wheelbarrows. If you don't assign a wheelbarrow, everyone will just grab everything by hand. But if you do assign wheelbarrows, it's... yeah. Wait, you just got a vampire? Wow, that sounds sounds terrible. I've never dealt with a vampire before, actually. How's this coming? It's not. Are they down here? Oh, it's because they're down here. For a second, I thought I measured that wrong. And I was going to hit myself. But no, nope, seems fine. Wait, you went all the way down? Oh, I guess that is technically closer, isn't it? <laughs> Can't wait till he's just shooting out lots and lots of tables and chairs and thrones. 
Hey, Saint. I think he's okay to wander for now. I don't actually care what he uses. And he's actually just fixing... He's, he's taking the shortest route, right? So he's just taking stuff from nearby. And... I don't know, making it easier for people later? I don't know. It seems more efficient what he's doing. What isn't good, though, is... So we're just going to do furniture. Right about... I think I actually do want to separate it just so I can visually see what the difference is. Oh, but then it's not even shit. I'd have to do it on both sides, and I don't want to do that. I wish you could just expand things. Carpenter, can you make some barrels and bins? Such as that. I need both in high, high demand. Oh, right, and we need a refuse area here. Let's just put it like right here. Let's just put it right here. What the hell? One second, where is that? Right on our front door. Everyone will love us. They'll be like, man, that guy with all the trash outside, right in front of his front door is fantastic. We love that guy. Hmm. I guess we'll see. What I do know is we need the broker to start, or the record keeper to start keeping records, because I have no idea what I actually have right now. I also could use one of the fisher dwarves. Where are my fisher dwarves? You. You don't have a job. What do you mean you don't have a job? Do you only dissect? You oh, you're an idiot. Anyway. You're going to be a mechanic. I could find engineering. Yeah. You're going to be a mechanic. Just for a bit. A dwarf atom smasher. I, I'm not actually sure what that is. Sounds good, though. Oh, right. It's furniture, but it's also ammo, finished goods. I want to move cloth and leather somewhere else. But where? <laughs> that purple one just went all the way around. Just went, ooh, and then back through, which is a little odd. Do I have any beds yet? No. I need the guy to put some beds. So this is the start of our food hall and our dorm. We're also going to see the uh, the bookkeeper, the record keeper, in that first room. But things are starting to starting to do what we want. 
This area over here is still kind of shitty. Also, I think it's time to start. I don't know who's actually responsible for that anymore, but someone is, I'm sure. So, somebody, right? Are you? Are you responsible for that? Yes, you're responsible for that. You'll do. You'll get to it eventually. I'm sure you moving objects is more important, though. There you go. Okay. Now we have no fish, somehow. Not sure how that's actually true. Like, you're fishing, right? Yeah, you're, you're fishing. Might just be a record issue. Oh. You're just eating at that table. Oh, we actually need to assign... Wow, this guy's a better record keeper than you. However, he's a fisher. You're nothing. So, whatever. Oh, wow. Uh, wow, this guy's just kind of better. But it, he's not a appraiser. He's a great negotiator, but he's not an appraiser. What's, what's more important, appraising or negotiating? That's a, that's a tough one. Also, I'm pretty sure I have a fishery. I do have a fishery. I don't know if anyone's using it, but we have it. Ah, we'll just make him both. And he requires things. Requires an office, yes. Yeah, because if if you don't know what anything's worth, it's it's not it's not a great way to go about life. You can negotiate all you want, but if you don't know what, how much the thing you're trying to sell is actually worth, then Look at him go. You're getting shit done. I don't know why these bins are here, but... They're not actually being used for anything. Oh, actually, they are. Never mind. A lot of it. Oh, it's already fall? Shit. Okay, we need to get... We need to get moving a little faster here. Ah. <sighs> X, hey, got it. Oh, I made two for some reason. And we need to build a lever. Oh, we need mechanisms to do that at all. No one's idling, because of course they're not at this point. But if we can steal somebody... Who did I actually make a mechanic? Is it you? Yeah, it was you. So just... He's sleeping. Guess we're just gonna wait. Is he still sleeping? I don't know where he is, actually.
I bet if people have beds to sleep in, they'll be happier. <laughs> I mean, if you're a good enough negotiator, maybe you can pretend that pen is worth more than a mansion? Dunno. There we go. Door. Wow, he is hauling ass with these tables. Oops. Wow, we have a masterpiece obsidian table. If if any traders show up, I guess I'm just going to sell them furniture. <laughs> Cuz that's all I really have right now. Oh, are you No. Is that guy still sleeping? It's fishing. Okay, stop fishing for me. Like I know I need the food, but you need to what do we know, job? Come on. There we go. I'll get there. Eventually, he'll... Oh, he's gonna go do that. Alright. It's not really what I meant you to do, but... Menacing spiked balls. Alright. Let's try that. Is that a wooden thing? Oh, here we go. Sure. Actually, how about I just go like this? I don't want to make a million by accident. Oh, no, he's a carpenter. How good of a carpenter is he? Skill. I forget how many levels. There's like... Is there like 10 levels of skill from knowing nothing to legendary, or is, or is there more than that? Oh, fuck. I forgot a depot. Ah. Uh. Oh, wait. It's not It's not the worst. We can still... We can recover this. They haven't bypassed. Uh, let's make it... Let's make it here. Okay. Someone's gonna get on that right away, right? Like, he, maybe you? Maybe you're gonna get on it right away? Maybe you're gonna get on it right away? Like, right now? Make a few past... <laughs> Our situation is, we're slow as shit. From Mute Daggers is the months... Is that months ago, a group calling itself the Base Glaze of Raining claimed the site on behalf of the Fiercer. Months ago, a group from the Fiercer is left to reclaim. Uh, that just keeps saying the same thing over and over again. Oh, okay. Well, that's what happened in the world. Nothing, really. What do I want? I want a bunch of leather. Just give me a bunch of leather. 
You know what? Some cloth. I don't know if I need metal yet. I forget if... I don't think we have shallow metal. Uh... Mine and iron. Could use crossbows, bolts, and leather armor. General, let's just put that up there. Now, I kind of just half ass this part. I don't really put too much thought into it. I just put a little thing here and there just so we can get something. Fine, sure. Like, it, it really doesn't matter because I don't have... Well, I guess it matters for next year. But whatever. Now, what do you want? You really want short swords and windows? Thread, bracelets, tan... We're not going to have tan tiles. I'm sorry. So they really want short swords for some reason. Okay, fine. Now, does that mean they want short swords next year or this year? Actually, I was never clear on that. Oh. You need to, uh... You need to get on that for a second there, guy. Oh, so close. Next time they... Okay. So, let's fix this guy's stuff. Because he is a miner. He is not a mason. He's not typically an architect. So, what can we actually bring over here? Well, we can bring these menacing spikes... Oh, it doesn't look like we can uh, we can give them furniture. I thought you could give furniture. I guess you can. Well, that's all we really have to sell. The gems aren't there for some reason. I don't know why I couldn't give them gems. Hmm. Is there something wrong with the gems? Can they not be rough? They have to be, uh... Do the amethysts have to actually be cut? That must be it. Oh well. We'll give them what we can. Okay, broker. Let's do this. see what we can get for some spiky balls. Uh, why can't I... Uh... Oh, goods, two from depot. Yep, yep. Trader requested. Are they not here yet? I think I have to wait. Search for them in the trade. Let's see. Brimstone, obsidian. Oh, there's the amethysts. So why aren't these... Why isn't there a gem? Is it under stone? 
What is under stone? Sort by value. That would be nice. Oh, it is under stone. I'm a huge liar. So what's it under now? Sort by value. Um. All right, and here's a table and all that. Sure. Let's just give them a bunch of doors, see if they like it. <laughs> oh, they, there they are. The merchants have finally arrived. That's why I couldn't trade. Oh, S is search. I didn't know there was a search. So... Okay, there we go. Let's hope they like them. And the doors. Let's hope they like our offerings of doors and rough gems. And the fur furniture is masterwork. So, I mean, they should. They should be like, this is the best obsidian door I've ever seen in my life. Wow, that, that ranger is fast compared to the other guys. Come on, guys. Get your stuff in there. Oh, the broker just... Damn. Okay. Well, now I have to wait for the broker. Let's just hope I don't waste too much time and they don't leave. There he goes. Okay. And I think they're done hauling, so... There we go. Trade. Well, wow, you were right. These are worth a fair amount. So what do we have? It's amazing that I can actually read these. So what do we want? Water skins aren't bad. I don't care about the cages. We don't actually need any more crossbows. We're going to make wood ones at the end of the day anyway. I need any of this. I do want this. And leather. We want a lot of leather. And cloth. Let's see, if I say trade. Okay, well, let's give you this then. Okay, let's give you several of these. Ah, fuck. Okay, so his... His people... Although I have a masterwork shit. He can't carry them. Ah, crap. I, uh, I tried too much. Didn't work out. They're packing up. Oh. That's too bad. See, so, yeah, using heavy, heavy doors was not the answer. And apparently he thought my 
the quality of my items is garbage. So... Well, we tried. That stuff isn't too important to begin with. Alright. Let's see. You can probably start doing other things now. Well, actually, nah. We'll keep them digging. The elves bring an elephant, but can't bring, take my single tip. <laughs> Let's just go. I just want to see if we can find some metal. So we might as well get looking. Deeply and greedily. Candy equals the best metal. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, can I make a lever yet? I just guess I need to make some mechanisms. I think, yep, okay. Then we can get the farm going, because we're going to need it. I know there's... I know there's bad things. There's, like, chasms and shit that are just super bad news. But it's been a long, long time since I've played. Since I've gotten that far. some mechanisms, come on. Well, I mean, we I am digging out obsidian, so it's true. I guess that does mean there's lava somewhere around here, huh? Or there was in the past. Oh, adamantite. I see. I've heard about that. That's like the best stuff in the migrants. Thank God. Weaponsmith, yeah. What else can you do? Metal. Let's just make you do everything for the moment. You have a thresher. You will also just be a farmer. Oh, they're going too quick for me. This is actually just a farmer. Okay. Some of these guys are way faster. Fishing. Yep, sure. Also fishing. Also, yeah, sure. Now you're a presser. Now, I don't actually care about that. 
You are going to move my jewelry. Maybe. And that's all I got. Beware of the circus, they are loud and bring lots of fun. <laughs> okay. So before I dig too deep, I suppose, I'll need to uh need to actually create like an army. And able to complete the metalsmith is metalsmith forge, really? How do you fuck that up? Like, no, really, how do you fuck that up? Oh, maybe it was so long ago someone took the, the obsidian. Okay. Let's cut some fucking gems, huh? No, that's obsidian. Why would I do that? I guess I can do it for practice. Did I make a craft work work so? Oh, I did. Should have some should have some shells. Uh we should have shells. But I don't see any. Do the fishermen are they just terrible? Oh, let me put corpses here as well. Just maybe that was the issue. But that was part of it. Hmm. Or is the fishery... Build a trap team. <laughs> she might. She may. Oh yeah, did these guys find anything? A little bit. Let's just do this. Oh, whoops. That's not what I want at all. Let's just do this instead. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just looking for stuff. Floodgate. Okay. So once that's all set, which I don't know if the mechanisms need to go to the lever or to the floodgate, I kind of forget which. So, no approval items, huh? Unrotten drink underscore mat dash producing. Well, let's uh, let's gather some more plants then, because clearly I'm not doing this right then. 
Oh yeah, whatever biome this is up here is much better for me. There we go. Wait, did I just say cut down all those trees? Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Just want to gather a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, I need to make a traction bench now that I think, now that I think about it. Just a few. Door the farm? I could door the farm. I suppose that would be smart. I'm also going to make a little seed room. So only seeds go there. Eventually. I think the lever's done. So let's try pulling it. Somebody, anybody, pull that switch. Okay. So now, let's mine this with number one priority. And let the fun begin. Really? You're still going to try to mine that? Or are you going to stop when you realize, oh, that's more important? There you go. Oh, we don't have any chain? Hmm. Didn't have that issue last time. You walked... Uh, well, fine. What am I going to say to stop you? Can you drain a brook? I assume not. I assume it's a it's unending. Okay, we're gonna Hey Nox. Yes, we are doing that. I just want to, I want to do it underground. Hmm, this isn't actually pushing over like I thought it would. Oh, it's just taking its time, that's all. Okay, let's... I really want to make sure it gets everything. Careful time. It's a very careful time. Especially because we don't want to know when someone's actually going to pull that lever. Oh, rock crystal. Let's look away from what we were doing and hope for the best. I, uh, I, s I saw someone pull it. Is it down?
Uh oh. That's not good. Is it being blocked by that obsidian? But... Okay, is there a way to... to get priority on dumping? Because if there isn't, I don't know how I'm going to stop this. Ah, oh, that's stupid. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, I can't think of a way to, to stop that. Yeah, if the water's too deep, they won't do it, but it's not... It's, it's getting there. Well, shit. <laughs> I just made a really watery room. <laughs> like, it's just gonna fill up forever, isn't it? Let's try pulling it again. Then we'll then we'll pull it again and maybe maybe it'll destroy the rock. I know. Alright. Uh yeah, I have a reservoir. Great. So let's uh let's dig out this. And, uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll fucking try it again. Yep, we're just gonna... <laughs> just gonna try the exact same thing. Definitely putting a door on this time. did not know that a simple door would stop that kind of water. And winter's here. And we could really use some food. Oh, I never set the... All counts accurate. We need to know exactly how screwed we are. Hey, Tim. The year is something. I'm not actually sure how to check that. Oh, it's 203. The year is 203. Well, it looks like this is a warm enough climate that... How do you get stuff to stop trading? This stuff should definitely not still be in there. Well, Tim's pretty hyped. Oh, and we'll try again for the... Uh... The seed. And this time, we'll remove all blocks, all dirt, or all stone. Whoa, is he just going for it? 
Oh god. He actually just went in there for it. What are you, a fucking idiot? When did that even... Holy shit, is this salvageable? He just went in there. He's a madman. <laughs> and, he went, and he let a little bit of water through. Yeah, he it it's closed. I Huh. Well, now I'm glad it's a reservoir cuz apparently wasn't always going to be. I hope I have enough drink. I don't. I don't at all. Actually. Well, it's... I think it's too deep to dry. The question is... How do I make use of this? How do I actually make it a water reservoir? Because my guys are gonna dehydrate like crazy. D-H. Do you mean make a channel... <clears throat> like... Inside here? Like in the wall? To ram? I think it would be fine. I don't know what that means. Sorry. On the top floor. So you mean outside? Wouldn't it freeze, though? If it can... If it can see the top, wouldn't it just freeze? I mean, all the ponds froze, so I assume it would, that would freeze as well. I think if I just... I'm gonna do something unorthodox. The water is useless unless I can get to it anyway. Actually, what if I try this? Just for the moment. I'm gonna try making a channel there. And then I'm gonna say, hey, hey, look at that rock over there. L look at this. I, c I gotta dump it. I gotta dump these rocks. Man, look at these rocks. I gotta get dumped. It's crazy how much those rocks gotta be dumped. It's like, whoa, dwarves. You gotta, you gotta dump those rocks, though. Oh wait, they don't have a way to dump them. I can do that. Shit. No, that's not garbage dump. Oh no, it still works. Okay. What are these anyway? Hmm. Nothing special. I do have a bunch of plants. Can I still not make anything?
Fair enough. Oh, are you gonna dump that? Yeah. He's like, hey, that was weird. But he's fine. Is it still too low? Oh, it's technically a water source now. Some people that are dying of thirst, like these guys, are actually going to go drink. Oh, shit. Guys, you gotta get in there. You gotta dump more shit. Just, just dump a bunch of it. No, stop. Mm. Come on, guys. You can do it. Well, I get in a nice obsidian door. When everyone dies of dehydration, they'll they'll be like, "Wow, that stood up to the test of time." Feel great about that. Oh, so now he's brewing drinks. Okay, it should be fine. Oh yeah, look at him go. Forty-seven already. Everything's working out. Okay, I, I'm not going to panic as much anymore. So, if this is now a decent water source, nope, still not a water source. Ah, water. You know what, fuck it. Oh, perfect, they're doing the outside ones first. There we go. Now we'll have two giant farm areas. It'll be fantastic. So things I actually want to dump in here. Food should go here. But I want to actually be only seeds. Ruin seeds. And then over here, I actually don't want to ruin seeds. To forbid seeds. Oh, max bins and barrels. Seeds stack pretty easily, so. And now there's also plenty of uh, of water in this pit. <laughs> it's a little strange. Not exactly what I had in mind when I was planning this, but it's working, so. Then we'll actually start with farm. Oh, we're running out of wood, really? Oh, who the hell died? Oh, all right. An emu died at some point.
I always forget if I don't have the dig key, I'm not gonna do it. I wonder if I should be going lower than this. Kinda just wanna get a bunch of gems. Oh, you, someone mentioned macros earlier. How do you do a macro exactly? Because I would love to know how to do that. Oh, really? Oh, I see. It's the jewel. That's That's good. Thank you. I'll have to forbid barrels then. Is it barrels and spins or just barrels? Semicolon. Oh. Let's try that out then. So, D... Oh. Uh. Stop the new turn. R. D. Y. Then semicolon. Save. Test. Play it. Oh god. Why? Why? Why is it doing this? This doesn't seem. This doesn't seem right. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> like, why is it flashing like that? I just gotta dig. It's a shame that there's no in-game way for them to explore veins, though. Oh shit, did I not ever set this up as a... Crap. They won't be happy about that. Oh wait, no. I want it to be a dining room. There we go. This will be a meeting hall, and we'll assign it a location. This is an inn. This is the Routed Snacks. That's a great name for an inn. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I did, but it was scary.
Oh, semicolon is movies. Oh, okay. Control R. That makes more sense. So let's try this again. D. And then, I guess we just stop it. But then how do you start it again? R? Oh, for save. Then how do you load? I don't see... There's no macro button to, like, describe these in-game. Control L. No macros. I see. Control R. Test macro. Oh. Wow, that's really specific, actually. L. Oh, but I fucked it up. Okay, stop. Oh, God. Stop. No. Oh, God. Oh, God, how do you stop it? Oh god, now it's doing both. <laughs> I'm trapped. Okay. So let's try this. I'm gonna get in the position I want. I'm gonna hit R. Then I'm gonna... Back out. Hit D. Oh, that doesn't... I want to, like, get into the position I want first, and then trigger the macro. Not sure if that's just not possible. Hmm. Shark Rock Crystal. Oh, it's right there. You have to be extra specific with everything you do with macros. It's... It's how do I start myself off? Because if I'm in this mode, I want to say, okay, I want to start two to the left, two to the right of this, so I want to get my cursor in place and then trigger the macro. But... Oh, I guess I could do it like this. Okay, I'm just being stupid. So record. I'm sure there's like an emergency happening. Like, in the in this fortress. Oh, I'm making that too shallow. Oh. Let's try that again. 
Man, macros are going to save me so much time. So, I'm going to start here with mine. Record. Then save. Test macro. Oh. Oh, I see what I have to do. Load. No. So, record. Save. Test macro. I'll start here. Load. Play. No. Not quite. Hmm. Let's try and uh, maybe I did something wrong, so record enter. I don't know why I did that so funny. Alright, wait. Okay, let's just... God damn. Okay, record. Start. Save. Test 2. No. No, because it's not done. Record. Start. Go down. And then up again. Stop record. Save. Test 2. Start over here. Load. Test 2. Play. There we go. Of course, now I need to adjust it because if I do it again... Wow, you just taught me something fucking amazing. That's fantastic. Oops. That's that's fine. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to try that up more later. But I mean I think for now that's enough for them to dig. That's awesome though. Okay, that didn't get across quite as far as I wanted it to, but that's fine. Because... This will be fine. Nice big chunks. That'll probably be good enough for now. Eh, screw it, why not? Might as well make it even. Is there actually enough water here? There is, okay. Maybe I'll reflood it sometime and try to get the rest of the left area done. And we can take that door back too. Oh man, we're doing so much better now. Are you, st are you still just making doors? Oh, and tables and thrones. What if there's something better you could be making? You could make some coffins. Make some coffins for a little while instead. Instead of doors, I think we're good on doors. Tables and thrones, probably, too. Oh, 
Oh, right, I need to change this. Oh, wait, do I? If I get rid of this up here, where do they go? They're gonna go where I think they're gonna go? Yeah. Oh, that's true. I could. Yeah, anything you can... Anything you do with command, as long as you're careful. That's really neat. Thank you for teaching me that. A little bit of a learning curve. It's not too bad. Okay. So, let's do dimple cups. And then helmets. Let's let's start like this. It's kind of rotating. Is I there's no way to have mixed farms, right? It has to be one crop for that entire farm, right? Which is probably why this is overkill, but we're going for it. I'll just make the rest of them, since that's so common. Monoculture. That guy's thirsty. He needs to finish up and go get something to drink. Oh, let me, uh... Yeah. I actually want to take... Maybe we'll get the seats over there easier that way. Now I know we don't actually have this many help helmets. Oh, we'll do sweet pots. Quarry bushes. Quarry bushes. Now eventually we'll get a bunch of farmers and everything will be fine. Wow, I've been doing this wrong the whole time. Permit. Permit, just not metal ores. There we go. Should probably make a few wheelbarrows. Just in case. And I'll assign these here, because why not? Oh, did I include siege ammo? I did. Uh... Oh, here it is. Weapons and trap comps. I actually want to add those up here. There we go. I want this to be the barracks.
There we go. And as many barrels and bins as you want. That can be the uh, hospital in here. It's odd that certain places are still set as uh, with zones instead of being able to like hit Q on a table or a bed or something. It's it's a little inconsistent. Oh well, works. Oh, it dried up. Is it actually? It's still it's late winter, but it's already warm enough for the river to flow again. That's nice. Now I just need uh, people to be troops, <laughs> but I don't have nearly enough doors for that yet. Okay, I'm going to have to expand this. Masterpiece of World Power. Yeah, he's still he's still picking up stuff. From just wherever the hell it happens to be. So I like him for that. And even this guy is he's cutting up sitting. Which I wonder how much that stuff's actually worth. Uh, it's worth 15. It weighs very little. Get bins and bins worth of that stuff, especially if he makes masterwork, that'll be worth something. <laughs> this looks so silly. It's just bullshit everywhere over here. Oh, you know, it would be good to start with. I don't seem to have a cra craft dwarf around this, but... Let's make a second one. And get you off of all things. Moonstone. That's a new one. Another craft drop. Craft. What is it? Craft dwarfs workshop. And this one can be specifically for wood, because I need to start making bolts. I want to make bolts ahead of time. Specifically prepared food, but wow. That is pretty good. In fact, our kitchen should start preparing food if we actually have a cook. Do 
was another building I just wanted to make. Was a uh, boyer. Anything wood related that I want to keep near the wood would be smart. Haha. -ha. Extra crafts need to unrotten shell. I guess I don't have any shells around here. In my other game, I had a million shells from fishing. I guess it's just not the case here. Surprised the fish don't turn into bone or something, though? I keep wanting to do Z and A, but I need to do A and then Z. Oh good, we do have someone cooking now. And yeah, we should be fine. We have plenty of plants. We have more growing over there. Slowly. Oh, and the miner finally woke up. Struck it right here. Okay. It's a very relaxing game when nothing much is happening anyway. Oh, an elven caravan. Better not piss them off. Alright, let's let's do this. Let's actually get the right stuff here this time. Okay, so all of these all of that singular thing. Let's try with some of these again. Now, elves don't like me using wood, right? You want me to steal it all? No. I don't want to wait. I do not want to wage war right now. That's like the last thing I want to do. But they hate wood things, right? If I use anything wood, if I sell them anything wood, they hate me, right? <laughs> I'm I'm sure there'll be plenty of practice. So let's I could spare a little bit of food. Let's just see what happens. Oh, uh Oh, oh just use just use wood. Interrupted by an emu. Wait, is that how that emu ended up dead? <laughs> You're like, the best thing you could do is pre use prepared food barrels. Except for the fact that elves will fucking hate. Oh, 
All right. Come on, trader. Let's trade. I should be able to get something with the gems. Now, if I have a fishery, what do you extract from raw fish anyway? Or is no one, or has no one been doing this this whole time? I think these guys are supposed to... No job. What do we need a job? Just cleaning a dissection, that should be a job. Oh, now you thank you, you're going to sleep now. <laughs> I, I would like to try and trade with them. Okay, so they, they might like this door. Do we want a box? Sure. I suppose. We want some buckets. Always could use some buckets. Ah, uh, short sword. Just because I remember we can sell them to our own people. Well, you guys have next to nothing. You have arrows. I don't care about arrows. I'll take your almonds, though. Yeah, sure. Splints, crutch, strain. Sure. Wow. They they took the doors. All right. What else can I grab from you that I don't? I mean, I'm giving you fucking doors, right? Oh, the allowed weights down there. Okay. Oh, captured fish, not hooked fish. Okay. Yeah, let's grab some puzzle boxes and... Just a bunch of random shit, honestly. <laughs> this is so dumb. This is so dumb. I'm just giving them doors and chairs. And they're like, this is the best shit we've ever seen. Oh, except for the arrows. We don't want the arrows. Wow, that's a good amethyst, actually. And that mechanism is a lot of money for being made out of a rock. Wow. Alright, uh... And I'm gonna say... say these things I'm going to just give you because we love you elves and we want you to come back and give us more shit for fucking doors like I don't I don't even want these arrows I don't care take these though Perfect. Alright, see you later. Wow, that went really well. They didn't have exactly what I wanted, but they had enough. Alright, and uh... There we are. Uh... 
Ah, yes. Hmm. If I try to overlap this, what's going to happen? Oh, okay. That works out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's like, man, I'm serious. I'm not even lying. This door, it can stop the floods of God and or Brooks. That's fantastic. Okay, so this guy is preparing raw fish. The question is, what's happening to all the refuse? When he repairs a raw fish, what about like the bones of the fish? Do those just not appear? Guess not. Need more pipes. These guys are still dick. Man, he's hauling ass, actually. Is he a legendary miner yet? Yeah, he is. And a legendary gem cutter, too. Oh, that's hilarious. This guy's just been cutting obsidian this whole time. Fuck it. Encrust finished. Encrust furniture with obsidian. Encrust obsidian furniture with obsidian. Please do this for me. Uh, how do I. There we go. Just like. That's the funniest thing in the world. Oh, T is just fine. What's stored now? Oh, there we go. Thank you. That's the key. I have been looking for that for a while. Yeah, this guy's flooded with shit. So is this guy. And so is this guy. So the fishery doesn't have any bones in it. So I guess the bones just disappear. I wonder if there's just not enough people moving things. I think I just don't have a lot of hands. The hunter needs an ammunition. Hmm. I mean, I set up hunters with uh, plenty of bolts. What if I just uh, bolts? Maybe that'll fix it. Oh, we got puppies. Nice. No more moonstones. I'm actually going to be right back, and I'm just going to let this run and see what, what stops us. Thank you. 
Okay. You calmed down enough to return to the dwarves? That is a good question. What did happen? Uh, let's make this furniture and finished goods as well. Do I have a tanner? I guess I don't. Oh, so I have a bunch of plants, but none of them actually are good for drink for some reason. Are you not actually selected? It's odd. I swear I did this. Ah, oh, maybe I... I guess I missed spring. That's awkward. this. Ah, uh, you know what? For lack of a better area, let's, uh... Let's just do a mini area like this. And make this leather cloth. I made this armor, did I? I did not. I want to make sure this is other cloth. Well, I'm glad he's making masterful obsidian coffins. I mean, if you're gonna die, at least you'll die with style, you know? In the end, it'll be stylish. Ooh, more migrants. And they're really hard to see. Hello there. Uh, sure. I'll leave you as, as is. Here's a good book. Okay. Bone carver. Sure. Uh, I wouldn't mind you also. Actually, no. Just, you'll be a hand. You'll... Fishery. More fishing. I think it's time. It's time. The familial machines. Sure. It's dog. Oh, peasant, peasant, you're definitely going. Animal trainer, take me later. I don't, uh, I've heard bad things about trapping, but I'm not going to do trapping specifically. Farmer, what kind of farmer? Yeah, that's fine. You also have, uh... Tanner. And a farm. <laughs> Is that it? No, still got more. Actually, you are going to take off of farm. Oh, but he's. I'll do the next guy. Metal crafter kind of want him on his own. Open smith, sure. Okay, you. I'm gonna take you off of 
all this. Because I want you to do... Ah, oh, what's it going to do? Ah, uh, bow making. Which is a craft. I thought. Maybe it isn't. Engineering? No. Nope. Other jobs? No. Nope. There it is. Crossbow. Miller. You'll take his place. Oh, Ranger. Oh. Well, you, you have to go in there. A potter. Furnace. Oh, we could use one of those. We don't actually have a furnace set up yet. But we will now. Oh, the furnace is one of those special ones, right? There it is. Wood furnace, why not? Isn't this a... Oh, no. That's the wrong spot for it. Oh, that's... Eh, whatever. I'm actually going to make a little special... Special spot for this. Or... No, I should make it up here if the metal smith is up here. Eh, we'll, we'll figure out what Because I want, I want where the charcoal goes to either be near furnaces or the smelters, you know? Oh, I just realized what I need to do. Why the, uh, why all the stone wasn't ever moving out of the other piles. Wait, I thought I chose this to not be. Oh. I don't want... That's odd. I'm surprised finished goods is here. Because armor is by itself. It's odd. There we go. Okay, yeah, they're starting to move things properly now. Oh, is this still ammo? Oops. This should be ammo. Oh, and I forgot to actually, uh... Activate. Oh, speaking of which, I need to make archery stuff. I'll do it down.
on these logs. I don't know why. It just makes more sense to me. Nine and one more for ten. I also want to put a wall behind it. It's not likely that they're gonna, like, kill anybody. At least I don't think it's likely. But I just want to be careful about it, you know? Just kind of keep them away from everyone else when they're doing this. a bunch of shit in here, I just realized, and I don't know what... Splint. What's a box? Age, almonds. I feel like most of that stuff should be... Yeah, they're just... It's very slow, but they're grabbing. Rain and sleep in here. Come on, guys, get cracking. Oh, I just realized their outfits are probably wrong. So I want to delete that. Oh, God. I want to add a uniform. Want to name the uniform crossbow. Want to add other armor. What else? Leather head. Oh, I have to change each type. That's good. I'm gonna delete that. Just change. I don't want to delete the uniform. I want to delete the item. Add an item. The button. Oh. Then go equip make snow assign uniform to the entire squad. Yeah, there we go. There, now we have a few people who know how to fight. Or will start to learn how to fight. This guy is just organizing and dodging a demonstration by himself. He is a sad person. Quit this match. Good job. It is so hard to see when these things are in bloom. Can I gather them? Oh, you know what? I forgot that I can do a gather and pick fruit thing. Don't know really how that works as a zone. But, might as well. I have one in this zone, I might as well do it in this biome over here as well. What? 
you're going to socialize. Great. Instead of like training. Pretty sure I have them on. Yeah, they're on active train. To schedule. Everything should be trained. Yep. Not really sure why they're not training. They're all going and socializing. What am I missing? Do they not have all the right weapons? Is that what it is? That might be it. Uh, no, they should all have... Oh, you know what? They don't have quivers. Crap. Can't make any quivers. Either. No seats for anything, really. Uh-oh. Got a fey mood. Oh god, it's my legendary miner. What are you gonna do? Please don't die. What? What are you taking out? Okay. So you, you're going for something. Where did he go? He's dragging rocks around. I think he actually has everything he needs, which is nice. It's kind of rare, actually. Or I feel like it's rare for me. And I actually just lost track of him. Oh good, he's actually doing something. All right, well, he'll finish when he finishes. Okay, some people are training. Some people are sleeping. Okay, good. They they're finally together doing something. That's all I really care for. Now, I read something about meals actually causing uh, people to stop making seeds, which is kind of weird. So I'm just going to stop making prepared meals for a while, just in case that's what's going on. Created Odor Ograd. A, an obsidian millstone. Okay. And now he's probably going to go sleep, right? No, he's just going to keep digging. Is he... Now, I wish they hadn't done this. I wish Toadie had done this. Maybe they did it for balancing reasons. But I loved it when someone would be terrible at masonry or whatever. Get taken by a fey mood. And then they're fucking godlike in that thing. It was just satisfying because sometimes they just ended up killing themselves and those around them if you couldn't get them what they wanted at the time. So it was always cool when you could like fulfill that and then bam, they're really fucking good at something.
Still no. I'm, I've been messing up a little, I see. I really wish it was in Super Do This. It's obvious these are important, you know? I wish I didn't have to just do it myself every single time. Wow, there's a lot in this vein. Especially when they're so hard to spot. Wow, I didn't even see these. What are these, anyway? Rock crystal, okay. Well, I can cut them so they're valuable in some way. It's actually a lot of them. Am I going to make windmills? I don't even know what those are. Not in the context of this game, anyway. I, I guess I could make a windmill. Also, apparently no one knows architecture. Who's idling? No one? I need someone to help me with projection. Here, for a, for a second farmer, could you just... Could you just know architecture and eventually get to it? I'd really like to start training them. On how to use their goddamn bows. Can you just mine gems to designation? How do I how do I trigger that? Oh, I didn't know that. I see what you're saying. Mine gems. Now how do I trigger that? Oh, I didn't see that at the bottom. So if I go like this, it's got to be one I missed, right? Here. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my god. You've saved me yet again. Let's see how many I missed. Yep, there's a few. There's a bunch. Oh. Oh, it overwrote. I see. Still, thank god. Uh, he made he made a millstone on his own. That wasn't my my doing. You get crazy, you know. Is there something in, in particular I can do with a with a windmill? Why don't you also do architecture, and maybe maybe you'll help me out here. Dodging. Now I know I don't have that many quivers. I have a few. I don't know if I have enough. No ammunition. Oh, really? So if I highlight the beginning part with the green, you're saying, they'll start digging 
the rest of it as well, because that's super exactly what I wanted. That's like exactly what I wanted. Also, might as well do this too. Kind of running low on drink. I think. Begins with Mills Flower. I don't know if I want to go the minecart route. I was reading into that a little bit. That's it's a little complicated and burdensome for for me. <laughs> I don't quite think I need that. Maybe maybe eventually if I play this game long enough, I'll get to that point. Yeah, the problem is uh they're kind of doing something right now. I guess like oh, I could do this How about uh I do this on a on a one, and they'll come over here. Is that guy? Is that guy? I'm sorry. Is that guy seriously traveling that far to pick up Fort Sight? Hmm. Oh, oh, hey, the caravan's back. You generally stuck with flower. All right. Sort by about. Uh, there we go. Gem bin, gem bin. Large amethyst. Let's try this again. Maybe their large wagons will actually be able to. Do something about this. Oh, I have traction benches. I don't know when to pick those up. But that's fantastic. Maybe I bought them from, like, the, the elves or something. I don't know. Oh, also. I just wanted to see this guy do. Oh, yep. He went for it all by himself. That's amazing. You can... Oh, man. You could do some amazing things with macros and then using that. You could use... Uh, wait, no. That wouldn't make sense. You could do this whole thing with a macro. And then you could select afterwards with a big square. I wonder if you could set up a complicated enough macro to just kind of play the game itself. I wonder if anyone's done something that ridiculous. Like, play the entire first year based solely on a macro. Be a hell of a challenge. Okay, let's get that broker. Oh, the broker is about to... Or... Yeah, he left. <laughs> oh, here's a question. See all these corpses here? There's one... One of them is a skeleton, but everything else is kind of just... Like a corpse. Thanks. Thanks, Windows. Do they always... Will they ever stop being a corpse and actually turn into, like, 
you know, skeleton. I remember hap I remember it happening a lot faster in older versions. Tree. Yeah, they can actually they can hold a lot now. Let's start off by saying, hey. You're my friend. Just in case they're still pissy about what happened. Uh, let's see. If we could get 53,000 monies, we could get it. We're not going to get it. Okay. Uh, we need leather. I don't know what we need rope for, but let's get some anyway. The cheap stuff. We don't need anything expensive. I don't even know what this is. Another slack. I don't know what the fuck slack is. Sewer brew. That sounds disgusting. Swamp whiskey, though. Let's get some of that. All right, sure. Let's just get a bunch of this stuff. Buckets, as I requested. Do not care about a silver morning star or an iron pick. Come on. Actually, here's a question. Will miners use the best tool for the job? And will it actually impact how quick they can mine? Like, not only just, like, copper versus iron, but masterwork versus not masterwork. Because I might actually spend the money if that makes a difference. And if they'll automatically figure it out. Another hood... Carrot seeds back. Yes, seeds, seeds, seeds. I'll, I'll take some sandbags. Why not? We might use it sometime. No, oh, that's way too expensive. Holy crap. Sea otter bag. Cloth, leather, cloth, leather, leather. We're just, I want all this cloth and leather forever. Because we don't really have a good, in, a good source of income for this kind of stuff. Silver bolts. Uh, those actually kind of seem important, but we'll pass for now. Take an anvil. As uh, I'll take two. Yep. Food. Okay. So let's start trading with doors and thrones. So, how I I am genuinely not sure. He's trying to rip me off super hard. Like, he's he's obviously trying to rip me off. Do I just go with it? Do I add some stuff from his end? I don't want to piss him off again, but I don't want. Definitely don't want. Him. I don't want. Him. But I also don't want to just give him money. Mm. 
He's really trying to screw me. The elves were much nicer. Maybe the elves are just better negotiators. Or the dwarves are better negotiators. The, not the, yeah. the elves are terrible at negotiating. Fuck it, yeah. They're just coffins. Makes them happy. Back, back, quivers, yes. Oh, is it not? I guess maybe I'm just uh, not used to it. Must have been the humans. Okay. Codex. I don't know what that is, but sure. I'll just give you this whole fucking jump in. Oh. Oh. Crap. There we go. I think we got pretty much everything we cared about out of them. We could get a lot more food. Let's see what else I haven't brought yet. Because, I mean, the gems are otherwise useless to me, right? So. Oh, these are. Oh, shit. These are humans. I didn't even realize. You're right. Dwarves, For some reason, I thought these were the dwarves again. Oh, someone's actually finally making the archery. I saw it. It's designed now with carpentry. That's interesting. What are you doing? I'm going to give you carpentry and architecture, just so maybe someone will get the job done now. Nope, nothing new. They gave me pretty much everything else I needed, though. That, I mean, that leather and cloth is amazing. Yeah, look at all that shit in there now. Do I have a tannery? I think so. Oh, I do. It's all the way over here. Oh, wait. That's not even what I want, though. I need a leather station. Leatherworks. Do I not have a siege workshop? Screw press. Don't know what that even does. Oh, actually, I should build the two. Oh, wow, it's ten thirty already. Holy shit, how long have we been playing this? I've been doing this for three and a half hours. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to stop pretty soon. But I might as well wait until the uh, humans are fully gone. Yeah, that's, uh. We're, we're good. Good trade.
What is he actually doing? funny. They pick up stone from the strangest places. <laughs> nice, the jewel. Oh. Just the ability to... Well, the ability to hit the right buttons in the right order would also help. But to auto mine gems and ore is so nice. Although I should lower the, I should lower the priority or raise, I suppose, would be the right way to do it. Raise the priority. Yep. Now we get to see it real, really well firsthand. Oh, they, they got time. You a legendary gem guy yet? No, you're pretty good though. Morgan, I don't even know what that is. Oh, you know what? We've kind of been ignoring uh, the nobility. You should probably have a chief medical dwarf. Yeah, you. You look great. I'm caretaking Kogan. Oh, yeah. He's, he's there. Uh, let's just place some doors and chairs and beds and all that. We should make a, a macro out of it, but it's fine. Who else do we need? Militia captain? No one's really good enough for that. Now, I didn't have a sheriff in my other game, and it seemed fine. I also don't have insurance. You know what? Broker, you're gonna be a lot of things. If Ushat dies, I'm gonna be in so much fucking trouble. Next time we get some migrants, I'll, I'm just going to shove them into positions. That's probably the best, you know? Oh, God. I've been... Why didn't anybody mention it? Jeez. No wonder they've been finding weird places for beds. I've been noticing it, but I didn't really think about it. It's because they don't have any beds to go to. Uh, let's also just engrave everything, why not? No, sorry, smooth at first. I know we have an engraver somewhere. He'll, he'll start on it eventually. Man, that's really funny. The dormitory has three beds for 40 people. I'm surprised everyone is everyone happy? Unable to pray for for I mean these people seem okay. That one did. Didn't feel anything after seeing an emu die. Oh, nothing at all. Oh, they want cups. I always forget they want cups. 
Make some cups. Or is that a crap thing? Wait a minute. Did we run out of wood? Oh shit, we just ran out of wood. You okay? Yeah. I'll have to let the wood stockpile up. Urist didn't make my 15 crowns. I want a gem. <laughs> well, I don't think I have a vampire. I, I mean, no one's mentioned anything. There they go. And all their shit with them. Now, I feel like I haven't done a specific type of... Oh, you know what? Animal. Animal's probably the one that I haven't done yet. Might as well keep that one up here. What else is in? Cages. Hmm. I think there's just a bunch of stuff that needs to be moved. There's not enough people. What's this guy grab here? A wheelbarrow or a rope reed rope. Okay. Sure. Oh, really, Zajul? That's awesome. <laughs> oh, hey, I just realized these are available. I wanted to go just to the top of. I want everyone to stand at the top of this thing. So, shoot. Top to bottom. Check. Train, train. Okay, let's see if they actually use it. They should they should have quivers. Right? Like they should all be Oh, do I have to specify that they need quivers? Uh, armor? No. I don't remember how I did this. Do any of them have quivers? Oh, he does. He does. Most of them seem to. Some, okay, about about half. Wow, 
Wow, that's a lot of bolts. That guy's been busy. Oh, right, and then I have to actually stop them from training. Because they want to train there instead of actually using the archery targets. Which is odd. Oh, oh, is he? Is he? Oh, he's firing arrows, bolts, whatever. He's doing it. He's fucking terrible, but that's why he's training. Can I? He is a novice mark store. Yep. Seems about right. Okay, but some of them are definitely just doing it, and I'm happy about that. Hey, migrants! I can't see them. Oh, they're there. Okay, you. I'm getting it. I have a gem setter. You're, you're enlisted. Leather worker. Pretty sure we don't. Oh, there. I'll keep. Oh, a suturer. We're definitely keeping you. I just want a full, full squad. Okay, we got a full squad. Now we have another furnace operator too. We've been getting small batches of migrants, but I think we're doing all right. Is that the only guy who practiced? Then everyone else is just... They're watching an archery demonstration when the targets are way over here. This is a boat. This is a crossbow string. This is a trigger. It'll take about 50 lessons to get that down. And this is slowly getting better. All the cages are gone. Ah, oh, well. Let's see. Oh, I need to move my, uh... To move my pasture. Let's make it a little bigger. Also, let's make sure we have everything that should be in there. Is that Paka is bowl half box horse? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. They are caged, so I don't know. Well, they're tame, though, so yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, and let's remove. Let's... <laughs> we just kind of move them over there. They're within the confines, so. It's a little goofy. Works. Oh god, there's did something just have kittens. Look at all the goddamn cats. They're everywhere. They're following one guy. All oh, right, we want. <laughs> Sorry, this was a while ago, but we wanted to make some wooden cups. Why is it Alt G? Make some cups and some bolts, and I guess make stone jugs you mentioned earlier. Oh, I'd have to craft it from rock. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll just make a ton of mugs. And jugs. And... I don't know. A couple of bookcases. And third truck, yeah, that's sure. I won't bother wasting time with this. Bolts, yes. Also, crossbows, yes. Uh... I'll make that money. Right on it. It's nice. Look at all this leather we have now. It's crazy. Should actually use it to make quivers. Oh, if we had a that we you know I think the leather working guy I made him do something else and then the other one I recruited so we don't actually have the leather working guy anymore <laughs> whoops but anyway it's 1045 so I think I'm gonna have to call it for tonight thank you all for watching though and uh, follow if you're interested because I think we're gonna do some more of this uh, pretty soon. And if you can't catch me there, then I'll be putting this up on YouTube as a giant block. In case you're curious how it started and ended, you can just kind of zoom through. But anyway, have a good night, everybody. Thanks especially to Zajul for helping me learn a game that's way too complicated. Anyway, have a good one.